Health Check is brought to you locally by Island Cancer Center. Dr. H. Bryant Wen visited Guam recently, speaking at the Hafadei Pacific Medical Conference. He's a man who's seen a lot with a unique connection to the territory, having returned and set foot on the island that he at one point called home after a half century away. My family was um, you know, one of the uh, refugees at the end of the Vietnam War. Uh, so the, the historic date for us is April 30th, 1975. Uh, but my family, we were able to leave early uh, since my, my, uh, my mother worked for the U.S. government. And then when we heard that the Saigon actually fell, we left. And that's when we went to, to Guam. Dr. Nguyen was nine years old. Coming back to Guam, he walked the grass of the war in the Pacific Memorial Beach Park, where he briefly lived. Then we were at Guam about uh, at the beginning of May. And we stay at uh, Camp Asan, which I believe now is Asan Beach. Mm -hmm. uh, we stayed there for like a, a month. And then we went to camp, I think, to Anderson Air Force Base for another a week or so waiting to be transported. His family ultimately settled in Southern California, where he went to school and distinguished himself. He's now a faculty member at Loma Linda University, where he's done research on the body reacting erroneously to infection, the potentially lethal condition known as sepsis. Yeah, so the management of sepsis right now is antibiotic, fluids management or blood pressure management, and source control is what we call it, you know, take out the, the source of infection. There has been a lot of research in the last, I would say, at least three or four decades uh, looking what we call novel therapies. Novel therapies mean is there a specific drug that can target the, the disease? And we have a number of them. You know, I would say several dozens that's been researched. Unfortunately, none of them has held up uh, because we don't truly understand the unifying mechanism of sepsis. After working as a software engineer, he shifted focus and went to med school. Now, he may have pivoted professions, but he maintained his innovative mindset that he now applies to the business of saving lives. I'm actually exploring the use of AI for that. Uh, I think in the last maybe five to 10 years, there's a lot of predictive model that are, have been used to identify sepsis. But again, it goes back to the fundamental premise of what is the definition or what, how do I diagnose sepsis? So we don't have a gold standard yet. So when you have AI, it's just another predictive model that has to work off a gold standard. And when we're still debating about the gold standards, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. But I think, yes, AI may add a different level of uh, possibilities. Health Check is brought to you locally by Island Cancer Center.